the godless society, uh, they are thinking that everything is being done by nature. Nature is there, but there is a controller of nature. Just like this electricity. Electricity is natural power, but there is a powerhouse and there is a resident engineer. Similarly, everything supply by nature, water supply, heat supply, air. So there is a controller and he is called demigod. They are all appointed servants by the Supreme Lord. It is simply foolishness that nature is working automatically. This is rascal. They do not know. The so-called scientists who are thinking that everything is going on automatically. Yes, it is going on automatically, just like the government affairs are going on automatically. A child can say that everything is going automatically, but a person who knows the government, the constitution, he knows how departmental management are going on. That is the difference between the so-called foolish person and one who knows the things. One who knows the things, the, he knows that everything is controlled by a person. That person is called demigod. So we have to satisfy where therefore the Jagga sacrifice is recommended. Ah, so that is mentioned here, that demigod being pleased by sacrifices. Just like to the income tax officer, if you pay regularly your income tax, then there is no trouble. Everything will go on. Otherwise, the state will enforce to exact income tax. So we are receiving heat from the sun. Similarly, we are receiving rains. Don't you think that we have to pay some tax that is required? That enjoined is basically that you must. Therefore, so many sacrifices are recommended. If we do not offer those sacrifices, then there will be irregularity of rain, irregularity of heat, excessive heat, excessive cold, and people will suffer. This is the process. They do not know it. Uh, read it. The demigods are empowered administrators of material affairs. How can you deny the existence of demigods? It's like my body, different limbs are working and help me, helping me. I want to go somewhere. The limbs or the part which is called leg, they will carry me. Similarly, by the supreme order of Krishna, all these demigods are acting just like my different parts of the body are acting. Just like if you obey the department, say the police department, you are obeying the police department means you are obeying the government. Nobody can manufacture a police department and force you to obey. Because it is one of the important department of government, therefore as soon as there is police, hands up, you have to stop. You may be very a rich man, millionaire, but you have to obey the orders of the police, otherwise you will be prosecuted. And where from? That man is an ordinary man, simply he stops you. How? Why do you stop? Because you obey the government. Similarly, all obeisances offered to the demigods, they are meant for giving obeisances to the Supreme Law. That is the beginning. Treasury Department collecting taxes. That is not the tax officer or the treasurer is collecting for his personal self. He is collecting for the government. Similarly, these demigods accepting these different kinds of sacrifices, they are on account of the Supreme Law. Therefore, ultimately you have to satisfy the Supreme Law. So, in this age, it is very uh, difficult to satisfy all the demigods differently. People are so much harassed. The best thing is to satisfy directly the Supreme Law. And what is that simple method? Just chant Hare Krishna. Uh, because we are so fallen in this age, the simple chanting of glorification of the Lord will be equal to uh, performances of all kinds of sacrifice. That is mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavata. Jagai Shankirtanai Prahi Jajanti Hismena. Those who are, uh, because each uh, kind of sacrifice, they are very costly affairs. It is not possible in this age. Uh, tons of butter, ghee wanted to serve, arrange for a sacrifice. 
uh, it is very difficult to find out a pound of butter in a house and where is the question of tarts of course in your country still butter is available but in india practically butter is finished so in in one day the whole world will not see any more butter or rice or wheat everything will be finished because with the age of advancement of the age of kali everything will deteriorate so badly that all supplies will be stopped practically at that time people will live just like animals so this is the only means krishna consciousness that in this said simply in whatever condition you may be you can simply sit down and chant there is no expense there is no loss simply chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare and all demigods in and the supreme personality of god everyone will be satisfied you will have no division this is the program of krishna god as after all have a tractor machine or farm arrangement you may make unless there is supply of heat and water it is all useless you cannot produce grains just like wheat or rice or in your factory or by your will defying the nature's law or oh, that you cannot real your life is in the hands of the demigods if they stop supply sun sign if they stop supply water supply how you can produce therefore you have to satisfy them people are practically forgotten their duty therefore they are suffering otherwise if they follow the rules and regulation there is no scarcity